you all take hands and begin to focus. Concentrating, Laura begins to recite this incantation. The incantation moves from an old draconic to elements of common, to old draconic to elements of common. Uh, speaking of looking beyond the veil of what exists and instead call the memory and knowledge of the worlds beyond current, past, let it all come and reveal what may stand before the future. Let all shadows be cast aside. Let all wisdom pierce the veil and reveal the true nature of what it is we seek. As you all begin to focus and concentrate, you can see smoke begins to swirl around you and gather. It's kind of like low, dark fog that kind of settles around your knees and then begins to take over your torso. You can almost barely see your hands beneath the surface of it brimming. But a little bit of light from the peaking element of the windows and the crackling candlelight begins to darken and subside. In this darkness, you can see tendrils of similar type dark smoke swirling between your linked arms as shapes begin to gather from them into chains. Chains that pull and bind between you in odd ways. Many chains, loose then taut, loose then pulled taut again. The chains all begin to gather again in the center circle as Allura begins to chant louder and louder. Wind begins to pick up sourcelessly, blowing each of your hair into a bit of a mist of a tangle. All the chains gather in the circle, binding to something. You see a shape, female in form, in the center of you all rising from the smoke. You see it take the form of Yasha, held in these chains that wrap between you. As they continue to rise above her, a cloud of sparks bruise above her head while the chains gather, formless and writhing. Alora stops her chanting and looks up to it, her eyes squinting against the intensity of this wind wrapping around her. Something divine watches over her, but it is held at bay by this. How could possibly. Concentrate harder. Show us. Reveal the form of her captor. You all begin to tighten your grip and focus even stronger on her. The writhing cluster of chains begin to separate. And in that space where she was, her form vanishes and left behind it is a black, lightless void. The chains that were tangled once begin to fall into place. Seven points, seven segments around the pit of darkness, endless, yet living. It's strange to look in the blackness of night and feel the emptiness, but this, you look into this emptiness and you feel something immense, something old, something mad. A deep, guttural shout quakes the room. <laughs> the ritual shattered, the windows break on the tower, light filters in, the candles are out, and all of you feel your arms thrust apart, breaking the connection. This thing you chase is a ruse. She looks to you, sir. Yusuf goes, there is no angel of our hands. It is a guise for the chained oblivion. Oh. For there is doom. The terrible mad god of endless hunger and destruction. It masquerades its efforts for freedom by this angel's name. He looks to Allura, and Allura looks to all of you. This is a terrible portent. I must inform the council. And that's where we're gonna go ahead and leave oh. off the episode. Pick up there next week. Fucking shit. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, cool. Object, cool. Uh. <laughs> okay, yep.
Yeah, that makes sense. I've seen the imagery yeah. in the book about yep. the chain to blue in. Sorry, it right. really sucks. Chain mirror weather in the house? This guy has been whispered since the start of this campaign. Oh. 